Twenty days ago, the government started an operation to eradicate livestock bandits in six counties of the Rift Valley after they were approved as dangerous areas. Interior Minister Kithure Kindiki has given an assurance that the situation will be stabilized. I can confirm that we have made the deployment. We have assessed the nature of the security threats. We have made some progress with regard to the, some of the measures that had already been pronounced. Up to now, we have received about 140 plus weapons of various types. Though the parliamentary committee has maintained that his ministry did not go through the parliament for approval, Kindiki has maintained that the police department is leading this operation with the help of the military forces. That operation, which was declared and initiated under Section 241.3b of the Constitution, is a joint operation between the National Police Service and the Kenya Defense Forces, led by the National Police Service with the assistance of KDF. The amnesty which had been given for three days lapsed and will not be extended. According to the government, these are not livestock thieves, but terrorists. I can confirm to the country that we will get to the root of this problem of heartless murders by bloodthirsty terrorists posing as cattle thieves. The operation will succeed. I can also confirm that all the illegal weapons which are in the hands of criminals will be recovered. The government is set to begin a second phase of the operation with new operation orders. This comes just five days. Tomorrow, we will be announcing new measures in the affected areas. Which new measures will entail phase two of this operation? and which new measures are going to turn around that operation to make sure that we stamp out the impunity of criminals. After bandits invaded the village of Lake Sabuki in Samburu County and killed five citizens and injured three military officers, while the security operation continues, Kindiki has reaffirmed citizens that the situation will return to normal under his watch. This administration will permanently end this problem. We will liberate the North. From the hands of criminals. For Ebro TV, Amode Francis.